So what is Soma? It's not often talked about in yoga, um, but we have two energies. One is Agni, which is fire or like kind of like the sun. And we have Soma, which is like a nectar, a nourishment, a moon energy um, coming from above. Um, so my teacher, Kaya Minden, she calls Soma the nurturer of the heart and mind or the nourisher of the body and the food of immortality. Um, so it's quite a powerful thing, really. Um, so if we think of Soma as the divine feminine, um, so the nurturing and the caregiving and the agony, that fire is the divine masculine. Um, so we need both. And if we think of Agni, that fire, you know, fire is a useful tool. Um, it's also a necessary tool. Um, but if a fire goes out of control, you know, if there isn't something protecting around the fire, then it's going to consume everything around it. If you think of a fire, it just grows and grows and grows. As it grows, it consumes more. Um, and maybe you can see how that is reflective of society at the moment. Um, we are all consuming. And yeah, if, if, you know, <clears throat> if we keep consuming like this, we know it's, it has to come to an end at some point. Um, so, you know, we need consumption. You know, if we, if we didn't consume anything, we wouldn't be living. Um, so on the other side of the fence, we've got this Soma. So Soma is said to be the mother of prana. So again, that's the feminine. It's the mother of our life force. So it's, it's highly necessary. And in fact, we need more Soma than we do need Agni. Um, think of a, a candle or a, a ghee lamp. And you've got the flame and the flame is, is relatively small in proportion to the amount around it. So wax or ghee, which we can see is the, the soma. But also that, that ghee or the wax, it nourishes the flame uh, and it keeps it lit. Um, and that, that, that way that, that, that Agni energy is, is far more useful. That fire is, is a useful tool. Um, so we'll delve a little bit deeper into the texts uh, and then into the science.